Okay, now these are the patterns that I use to uh, make the holster. Now, if you want to make your own pattern, you just need to start somewhere. And then after you, you make your first one, and then you make, you fit your gun and everything, you'll find out what's wrong with it, then you have to change it. And then, uh, but now you have something to work with. And so now this is my first one here, and you see the stitching's different. I had to make a little bit more changes. And I keep making a little bit different changes. There's number two, and there's number three. There's a little more changes on each one. And uh, I'm going to be making, that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to make another fourth one. And then once I get it done down correctly, then I'll make more that'll be shorter for smaller, uh, smaller firearms. This one here is for uh, medium to large frame semi-automatics. And uh, I'll be able to start doing some modifications to it, make it a little smaller for smaller, this, this whole thing will be smaller for uh, smaller semi-automatics and I'm going to have to do the same thing with revolvers but you start and then you start modifying each one that's how you make your patterns okay what we're working on is this holster this gun holster and uh, this is the pattern that we're using to make it now to start with, we cut the leather into a strip. Strip is the, just, I say, just a hair wider than what we need. But anyway, that's the way it is. Now, instead of, we could make it by two pieces, putting two pieces together to make this. But what I've chose to do to make it stronger is I'll fold it over like this. Okay, now what you do is you stick it in water. Yeah, I got water right there. And uh, what this water will do will soften it up, soften up the leather. Especially how thick it is. I got some really thick leather here. Okay, now some of this leather, see on the end, isn't too good. So we're not going to go straight to that end. So we're going to shorten it up a little bit to make sure we can get rid of that. Got it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is right where that fold is, I want to cut a notch out on the inside and make it easier to fold over. cut a notch out of it and now we, now we can fold it over better okay now what we want to do is uh, stick it in the vise
make sure you line it up straight and then you so we smashed it down as you can see a little longer than what we want but that's okay we're going to trim it up a little wider than what we want, but it's okay. We'll, we'll make it fit. Now we got it. Now what you do... Okay, now, let's see. I got this set up where this part goes towards the fold. And we want it right up against the fold. There it is. Now... We line the pattern up. It's just perfect. Okay. Now what I do is I use an awl to poke holes. We already know where the holes are going to be. So then we just start poking them. Okay, I've already uh, used the awl and punched a little spot all, all the little where the stitching is going to be. Now, where the belt, the belt loop is going to be, we'll mark it with a pencil. And now we have it. See where the belt loop's going to be and where the stitching's going to be. Okay, we're going to be uh, making the belt loop slots. That's what we're going to do now. And what we're going to do, what we're going to need is a punch and then uh, a chisel. This is an inch and a half chisel. That's the size of my belt. So that's what we're going to be using right there. And we need a good hard surface. And I put an old piece of leather there to protect the, the blades. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we look, we know where the slots are. So we get on the upper end, or on each end. And then punch it. Then at the other end. And it's through. Then we do the same at the other end. After we've made the the holes on the top and the bottom end of the belt loops, now what we do is we connect the dots using the inch and a half chisel. cut through we go to the other side of the same hole
there's our belt loop. We do the same thing for the other belt loop. Okay, now what I've done, I've put a, a clip on here to hold it so it won't scoot back and forth. And this end is all together, one piece, so that holds it together too. Now, when I drill, I'm going to drill completely through both layers. I use a Dremel tool because of the small bit. I think it's a 564 bit. You just drill it on through get all of it. Okay, I've used the Dremel tool and I've drilled all the holes. This is where the stitching is going to be. So now it's done. Now what you need to do is you go back and just kind of clean up the holes. Okay, all right, we got the holster drilled out so it's ready. We got some slots made for the belt. Now we're going to glue uh, first we're just going to glue this part right here first. You see this is where the, the gun sits like that. So we're going to glue this part and sew this first. Okay, I've glued the inside. Keep in mind, this is where the gun's going to be. So, you, so the glue is not where the gun's going to be. Okay, now we're going to place it back in the vise and then sew up the, the other end here. needles in here to make sure the holes are going to line up before we put the pressure on it there now now it's ready okay we're going to start down here and then uh, work our way on around The vise really makes it handy for holding it. Okay, I finished uh, putting the stitches in the other end.
you can see we have some excess it's not smooth okay so now's the time you do some trimming Good. Doesn't have to be exact, but you do need to start trimming it down to where you want it. This is the excess. And then, uh, We don't want the square corners. Take get rid of them. Okay, we got it right there. We're going to go on and punch those out. So, we're going to punch those out and then use the chisel to finish up the holes on there. Okay, now we've punched out the, the holes. Now what we need to do is take the Dremel tool and take off the edges, sharp edges all the way around and same thing in the, the holes for the belt. Okay, now this is also the time you flatten the edges, make them equal. And after you get them all rounded off like that, then you're just going to start cutting off the, the sharp edge. And then I say the same, do the same thing in your. Uh, Belt, belt hole. Okay, see the sharp edge this is where the belt loop is. So sharp edge. What we're gonna do is come here and You can see how it smoothed it out and make it easier for the belt to go in. So, see there it is when it's sharp, and that's after it's been smoothed out. Okay, uh, I ended up using uh, this little tool on my Dremel tool to clean up the holes. And then, uh, smooth them all out. So now it's all ready to go. Now we're ready for the the water. Put it in water. You open it up, put it in water, and then get the gun fit.